Corin, from the very beginning, was very passionate about getting the respite center in place and making it a quiet and comforting place for families to retreat to when their family members were in critical care. This was near and dear to her heart, and because of her and the energy that she put behind this project, we have the respite center today. This really grew out of the experience of Corinne with her child here, where she experienced that inability to go someplace and get some rest and having to deal with being on the ragged edge all the time. So when we opened up this unit, even in the first few days, we found a real excitement of the physicians and the nurses and the caregivers that could help people find some place to go and, and yet still be here, be part of the team, but be better prepared. When patients are very sick and family members are with them, they don't want to leave, and we don't want them to leave. Their family members play a key role in their healing. And again, family members don't want to leave their loved ones. Having an environment where family members and friends are welcome where they have a space for themselves, where they can participate in the care delivery and be a part of the healing process is important. Karen was very adamant from the beginning that she was gonna make it happen and she truly did. She came through for us. Even though she is well known in the community and well respected, she is such a down to earth person. You can very easily connect with her. She's very passionate. And you know, when she communicates with you, you can see and feel the passion. You can't help but become excited. Corin is an energy in herself, but because of her experience with Jennifer and the many nights that she and her husband spent here, she knew the need. She understood that people stayed here who didn't, you know, didn't have anywhere else to go. The respite center has 10 individual rooms, which all have their own lock, so almost like a little hotel within the hospital, which has been a great thing because then families can come and go as they want. One of the neatest things, I think, is that they check in every afternoon, check out every morning, much like a hotel, but what happens during the night is the thing I think that makes the most difference for families. If the family member wakes up at 2 in the morning and is wondering how the patient is doing, they can walk right up the hill to the ICU and check on their loved one because the visiting allows that. I think the other thing that's very neat is people can shower here, they can also freshen up, do whatever they need to do, um, and family members have said that's the thing that makes the difference, makes them be able to support their loved one because they feel rested, refreshed. What the, the respite center allows is a place where you can go and have a comfortable setting. In the ICU, they don't want to leave their side. And this place here gives you an opportunity to just get away from it, because everybody needs that. I find it so impressive that she can take what, you know, still touches me. I knew her daughter. I helped take care of her when she was here. And that she could take that incredible loss and just turn it around to give to the community I think it's a beautiful thing. I am so honored to receive this award and so completely humbled. There are too many people to name to properly thank them all, but of course the first person I have to thank is my husband, Rusty, who stood behind me the whole way that this vision was becoming a reality. Andy Blaylock, Jimmy Kicklighter, Maggie Gill, of course, and an enormous pool of very, very generous donors. There's also not enough time today to honor all of the members of the administration of the hospital who stepped in and helped whenever help was needed. And I have to also give great kudos to the medical staff here because had it not been for the incredible level of care that Jennifer received during her stay here, well, frankly, we would never have been inspired to dedicate this space in their memory and in their honor as much as in hers.